Tires are probably the most important and neglected part of the vehicle as it is the only item that is in contact with the ground. There are several things you can do to check your tires. Number one, uh, if you take a look at your tires and you notice there are noticeable cracks on the sidewall and the tread pattern of your tires, then it would be a good indication that it's time to change your tires. Second, check the tread pattern of your tires. If you notice uneven tire wear or your tires are smoothened down, this could mean either, uh, or you may even have bad alignment on your tires, in which you would need to uh, change them and get, those, uh, get your alignment fixed. The next point, uh, you should check the performance of your vehicle. Now, uh, if you are driving on hard corners or you're accelerating and you notice that your car doesn't have the enough grip as you usually would, then it would be a clear indication that you should be changing your tires. Last but not least, if you're not sure about any of these, you can take your vehicle to a car care professional and they can check it for you. Your tires should last between four to five years if proper maintenance is done. Uh, the first thing you can do is check your tire pressure regularly as this can save the lifespan of your tires. Uh, why this is important is because it is, gives you the difference between running on asphalt versus running on the beach and on sand. If you have low tire pressure, then it is exactly the same as if you are running on the sand. Thus, you use more energy and your car consumes more petrol as it is harder for it to get from point A to point B. The next point is we recommend that you fill your tires with nitrogen. The difference between nitrogen and regular air is that nitrogen's air molecules do not fluctuate with rising and decreasing temperatures. So if you are driving in the peak times of the summer and it is 50 degrees out there, the air molecules inside your tires with regular air would rise. So it would give your tires a balloon effect. And if your tires is having a balloon effect, expanding and contracting, it would dramatically reduce the lifespan of your tires. Uh, last but not least, you should respect the low capacity of your tires. This is more geared towards people who are driving vans, trucks, and delivery vehicles. And if you are loading your uh, vehicle with more than what is recommended, then it would also dramatically reduce the lifespan of your tires.